What's going on, family? It's your brother, Robert. So we are in Isaiah chapter 6. And if you remember, we are seeing this beautiful picture of vision that the Lord is giving to the prophet Isaiah. He sees the Lord himself seated upon this throne, high and lifted up above all of his creation, showing his holiness. But the train of his robe is coming down and resting inside the temple. Above the Lord, we see the seraphim flying around, two wings covering their head, two wings covering their feet, and with the other two, they're flying around. And it says in verse three of this chapter, they were calling to one another, holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. Today, we're going to be coming from the topic, the Lord is almighty. Again, the Lord is almighty. In another translation, that word almighty also can mean, it also says the Lord of hosts. And even in another translation, it says the Lord of heaven's armies. This indicator of almighty is not just an indication of strength, though it is, but it's also an indication of his military might, that the implication of the word there implies that he is the leader of the world's strongest army. He is the leader of the army that is greater than any army that exists. That is why here in the NIV, it says that he is the Lord God Almighty, because his military strength is unsurpassed. His military might cannot be thwarted. His might is beyond anything in all of creation. So with that, he is the Lord Almighty. He is stronger for us than any circumstance or situation we may face. I don't know what you may be going through today. Maybe you have uh, some interpersonal issues with another person. The Lord is stronger than that. Maybe you have a disease or an ailment that is impacting you. The Lord is stronger than that. Maybe you're going through some financial distress or hurt. The Lord's provision is greater than that. Friends, I've come here very simply to tell you that we serve the Lord God Almighty. He is stronger. He has more power. He is bigger and greater than any circumstance or situation you may be going through today. So the question that we need to ask ourselves is, what situation do we think is too small for God? What situation are we afraid that God can handle so we're not bringing it to him? Friends, let me encourage you. The Lord is almighty. He's sitting and waiting with open arms, ready for you to bring whatever you have to him. And we can do that in prayer. So with that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are reminded by what the angels or the seraphim said here in this text, that you are almighty. And sometimes we get wrapped up in our heads thinking that problems are too big or too small for you. But the truth of the matter is, Lord, everything is too small for you because nothing is impossible for you. Help us to realize that. Help us to believe that. Help us to trust that when we feel overwhelmed when we feel like the world is falling in on us. And Lord, help us to always remember that you are the Lord God Almighty. We love you. We praise you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back for the final devotional in Isaiah chapter 6, verse 3. God bless.